Hello, today's topic is a student's view of submitting a writable PDF. I'm your host, Wendy Vasquez, with QUEZ Instruction. This is my Canvas dashboard. Today, I'm going to go into my homeroom and I'm going to work with a writing assignment that I have prepared specifically for this video. This is a writing assignment using a writable PDF that I created in a previous video. In this assignment, I'm going to have the students reply to a reading that we had using a raft writing, and I've created this PDF for them to fill out. I will assign them a role, an audience, a format, or topic, and then they will click here to submit. They click here after we've had our discussion, and they're going to click here to download the writable PDF. I'm going to click here to download the assignment. I've enlarged the screen so that you can see what happens. When I click here, the PDF, writable PDF, opens down here. And if my student were to click here, you'll see it opens in a new tab. That means that this document, although I can write in it, will not be saved properly. In order for my students to be able to use this document, they first have to actually, even though we've downloaded it, save it. They're going to click here and hit download again, and this time make sure that it saves onto their desktop. In this case, you'll see this is a second copy because I've already got one here, and I'm going to save it to my desktop. I can't click it here again. I must minimize my screen and find it on my desktop. Now I must open it in my desktop. I can now type my answers and save this document again before I get ready to submit it. I've made the screen a little bit smaller so that it's more it's easier to see the entirety of the screen. Now that I've typed an answer in each of the boxes, I'm going to save it. And I teach my students to save to my desktop and then to add their name. First or last name. Click Save. And now, when I look at my desktop, I have the same document. This one's empty, and this one has my name. What does this look like for the student? I'm now going to go into Student View. You'll see I'm in Student View because I have the pink at the bottom. I'm going to scroll down as the student, go into my writing course. I see my assignment. I also have Immersive Reader here. We'll do that later. Click here to submit. I'm going to click here. It will download at the bottom. I'm going to save it to my desktop. In this case, it's number three. Minimize the screen again. Find number three. This is a new answer. I'm going to save this on my desktop with my last name this time. Save. Get rid of that. Go back to my internet. Click Submit Assignment. Choose the file I want to submit. Go into my desktop. Find the one with my last name. Three, three Vasquez, here we go. Open, submit assignment. Now I'll see, yay confetti, 
I'll see it here. I can actually download it again to see that I've got the right one uploaded. This is a new answer, so I've done it correctly. This has been another tech tip. This one's a little over the five minute mark, but not too bad. A student's view on submitting a writable PDF. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if there are any other videos that you would like to see in the upcoming series.